सो हेलो गाइस टुडे वी आर डीलिंग विद थर्मोडायनेमिक प्रोसेसेस तो अपने पहले स्टार्ट करेंगे तो सारे प्रोसेस पे जाएं उसके पहले मैं एक ओवरव्यू दे देता हूं तो वी आर डीलिंग विद द चैप्टर ऑफ थर्मोडायनेमिक्स दिस वीडियो इज फ्रॉम द पर्सपेक्टिव ऑफ फिजिक्स वी आर ओनली डीलिंग विद आइडियल गैस एक्सप्रेशन सो वी विल नॉट बी डीलिंग विद द इक्वेशंस इफ इन केस द गैस इज रियल इन नेचर सो वी आर ओनली डीलिंग विद आइडियल गैस सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड क्विकली विद द डिफरेंट प्रोसेसेस सो द फर्स्ट वन व्हिच वी हैव इज आइसोबेरिक प्रोसेस आइसोबेरिक का मतलब हो गया प्रेशर इज कांस्टेंट तो अगर प्रेशर कांस्टेंट है तो इसके लिए प्रोसेस इक्वेशन क्या होगा dq का वैल्यू क्या होगा du क्या होगा dw क्या होगा और बल्क मॉडुलस का क्या वैल्यू होगा अगर ये सब वैल्यूज हम लिख देते हैं सो वी विल इवेंचुअली अंडरस्टैंड द प्रोसेस इन द कंप्लीट वे सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड ओवर हियर सो सिंस द प्रेशर इज आइसोबेरिक इन नेचर वी कैन से दैट dq which is written as nc process dt will be written as ncp dt since the process is isobaric in nature we are using molar specific heat capacity at constant pressure for n moles of a gas undergoing a dt change in temperature the next one which we deal is du so du is equal to ncv dt so formula for internal energy change is going to be ncv dt irrespective of the nature of the process which we are dealing with next we are dealing with work done so in case of work done so since we are dealing with isobaric process we say pv equals nrt so if we write this equation in differential form then we can write it as pdv plus vdp equals nr dt now since in this case pressure is constant so for constant pressure we can say dp equals 0 so if dp is equal to 0 so we can say pdv is equal to nr dt and over here we can also write dv by dt is equal to nr by p so this expression becomes differential equation for isobaric process and pdv equals nr nr dt becomes a very interesting fact as we can write work done pdv as nr dt also so over here if we have to calculate work done we can calculate it as external pressure p into change in volume or we can calculate in terms of temperature change nr t final minus t initial if we talk in terms of bulk modulus so bulk modulus is defined as minus dp upon dv by v now since dp is zero so bulk modulus is zero for isobaric process so let's quickly fill this up in the blank given here so we can say the process equation over here so we can write process equation as p equal to constant we can also write it as dp equals zero or we can write it in differential form dv by dt is equal to nr by p for dq we are writing ncp dt for du we are writing it as ncp dt and for work done we write p dv or nr dt and bulk modulus is equal to 0 for isobaric process so this was all about isobaric process so now let's get started with isobaric process so when we say that the process is isobaric in nature we say volume is constant so for constant volume so if we come here we can say dq is equal to nc process dt so over here we can write dq as ncv dt du is equal to ncv dt and work done which we write as pdv is equal to 0 so work done in case of isobaric process is zero and if we talk in terms of bulk modulus so bulk modulus is dp upon dv by v so since dv is zero so we write it as not defined if we think in terms of process equation so we can write pv equals nrt and if we write it as pdv plus vdp equals nr dt so since dv is equal to zero for isobaric process we can say dp by dt is equal to nr by v so this is the process equation for isobaric process bulk modulus is not defined 
and the other parameter as s row so let's get started to fill this up so we say for isochronic process volume is constant dv is zero dp by dt is equal to nr by v is a differential equation for isochronic process dq is equal to ncv dt du is equal to ncv dt work done is zero bulk modulus is not defined as dv equals zero so this was all about isochronic process so now let us deal with isothermal process so isothermal process is a condition in which temperature is kept constant so if temperature is kept constant so let's deal with each aspect of the process so let us begin with process equation so we are writing pv equals nrt so if temperature is constant then the amount of gas ideal gas constant and temperature constant will make this parameter pv equals constant and we can definitely say that if the gas is moving from a state point p1 v1 to state point p2 v2 following isothermal curve then we can say that p1 v1 is equal to p2 v2 we can also think in this regard that pv equals nrt so therefore in differential form pdv plus pdp is equal to nrdt so if dt is zero then pdv is equal to minus vdp and dp by dv is equal to minus p by v this is the differential equation for isothermal process so if we have a pressure volume curve then slope at a point can be calculated as the ratio of p by v with a negative sign to calculate the slope of pv curve for isothermal process now since du is equal to ncv dt so for isothermal process since dt is zero so du is equal to zero for isothermal process so if du is equal to zero then we can say that dq equals du plus dw so dq is equal to dw so we are not calculating the process c process for area for this particular process or isothermal process ye line cut ye dq equal to dv plus dw ho gaya so we can calculate dq equal to dw tak ho gaya ab dw calculate karte hain okay let's fill this up and then we will calculate dw for isothermal process so for isothermal process we are saying temperature is constant we are also saying that dt equals 0 we can also say that pv equals constant or we can also write p1 v1 equals p2 v2 and after all this we can write differential form of the equation dp by dv is equal to minus p by v so these are all the various ways in which we can describe isothermal process now we can write du equal to 0 for isothermal process as change in temperature is zero during the process hi <laughs> now let's calculate work done for isothermal process So if we calculate work done for isothermal process, then work done is equal to P D V integral V one to V two, and we can write it as W equals. So P can be written as N R T by V. So we write the expression as N R T by V V one V two. Since temperature is constant, we move this out of integration, and then we can write it as N R T N N V two by V one. now since p1 v1 is equal to p2 v2 we can definitely write v2 by v1 as p1 by p2 and the expression will take the form nrt ln p1 by p2 we can convert this expression in logarithmic form by multiplying 2.303 and the expression will take the form 2.303 nrt log v2 by v1 or 2.303 nrt log p1 by p2 we can also replace nrt as p1 v1 or p2 v2 so the expression will take the form 
पी वन बी वन एल एन बी टू बाई बी वन पी वन बी वन एल एन पी वन बाई पी टू और पी टू बी टू एल एन बी टू बाई बी वन सो देर कैन बी सो मेनी वेज बाई विच यू कैन डिफाइन वर्क डन फॉर आइसोथर्मल प्रोसेस सो ओवर इयर आई मैं ओनली टू ऑफ दशन दैट इज एन आर टी एल एन बी टू बाई बी वन और एन आर टी एल एन पी वन बाई पी टू बट वी कैन राइट इट इन अप्रोक्सीमेटली ट्वेल्व डिफरेंट वेज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू राइट द इक्वेशन फॉर बी यू डी डब्ल्यू फॉर आइसोथर्मल प्रोसेस दर हियर वी आर डूइंग इजी पार्ट आई एम राइटिंग डी क्यू एस डी डब्ल्यू फॉर आइसोथर्मल प्रोसेस एंड इफ वी थिंक इन टर्म्स ऑफ बल्क मॉडल So we define bulk modulus is minus dP upon dV by V. So dP by dV is minus P by V. So P by V into V. So we write bulk modulus is equal to P or external pressure for isothermal process, and therefore bulk modulus is equal to P for isothermal process. So this was all about isothermal process. When we write the process equation, dQ equal to dW. Change in internal energy is zero. Work done. There can be twelve different ways by which you can write work done, and work modulus is equal to P. Now let's get started for adiabatic process. For adiabatic process, we define dQ equal to zero. So if dQ is equal to zero, we can directly fill this part as zero. Now over here, I am omitting the derivation of the process equation, but for adiabatic process. For adiabatic process, we write P V to be power gamma equal to constant. If we write it in logarithmic form, then we can write ln P plus gamma ln V is equal to ln constant or ln C. And if we write it in differential form, then we can write it as d P by P plus gamma d V by V is equal to zero. And then we can write dP by P or dP by dV is equal to minus gamma P by V. So this is the slope of pressure volume curve for an adiabatic process. So at any point, if we know pressure and volume, and if we multiply it with adiabatic constant gamma, which is equal to CP by CV, then we get the expression for the slope at that point in the adiabatic process. Now let's calculate work done for adiabatic process. For calculation of work done in adiabatic process, we are using the expression W equals P d V from V one to V two. Now, since P v to the power gamma is equal to constant, so we can say that if the process move from P one V one gamma equal to P two V two gamma, so we can write at any state point it was P v to the power gamma equal to constant, and hence we can write P as Constant divided by v to the power gamma dV from v1 to v2, and therefore we write work done as constant integration v to the power minus gamma plus one upon minus gamma plus one v1 v2, and then we have the form minus v2 minus gamma plus one plus minus of v1 minus gamma plus one. Divided by minus gamma plus one. So this is how we are going to write this expression. So v to the power minus gamma. So we increase the power minus gamma plus one divided by increase power minus gamma plus one, and then we have the two limits of integration. We put upper limit and then we subtract with lower limit. Now over here, please keep this in mind. For constant, either I can replace with p two v two to the power gamma, or I can replace with p one v one to the power gamma. So over here, since v2 is there, so we'll replace with p2 v2 to the power gamma. So we write it as p2 v2 to the power gamma v2 to the power minus gamma plus one minus. This time, constant will be replaced as p1 v1 to the power gamma v1 to the power minus gamma plus one upon minus gamma plus one, and hence work done can be written as p1 v1. Minus p2 v2 by gamma minus one. I have adjusted the negative sign to obtain the expression like this. So we can write over here the expression for work done as p1 v1 minus p2 v2 by gamma minus one. 
Also, for adiabatic process, we can write the equation as dQ equal to 0, dP by dV is equal to minus gamma P by V or P V to the power gamma equal to constant. In fact, we can change the expression P V to the power gamma equal to constant into temperature volume terms or pressure temperature terms simply by replacing P V equals N R T. So, if we replace P V equals N R T, suppose I want to write the expression in terms of volume and temperature. So, I want to replace pressure. So, I can replace pressure as N R T by V. So, N R T by V can be written as pressure. So, this expression will become N R T by V, V to the power gamma equal to constant. So, the expression will take the form T V gamma minus 1 equal to constant. And this is also the expression for adiabatic process. Similarly, we can replace volume in terms of pressure as N R T by V equal by P equal to V and then we get another expression which is flashing here in the video. So, over here we can write it in different ways P V to the power gamma equal to constant. Now, since D Q equal to D U plus D W. So, D Q equal to D U plus D W. So, over here D Q is equal to 0. So, D U is equal to minus D W. So, we are writing it as minus D W. So, either I can put the negative sign over here and adjust the expression as P2 V2 minus P1 V1 by gamma minus 1 or we can simply write it as minus D W. And for bulk modulus, we obtain it as gamma P. We obtain it as gamma P which is uh, over here. So, dP by dV we have written it as minus gamma P by V. So, if we calculate bulk modulus minus dP upon dV by V, so we get gamma P for adiabatic process. So, this was the wonderful table which we have completed over here by mentioning everything in different thermodynamic process or different thermodynamic equation. So, this is the basics which must be keep kept in mind every time you are solving problems of thermodynamics. Something or the other will be used from this short video. Please like us, share the content, continue to watch us.